So today I just wanted to make a really quick video and this time when I say it's a really quick video I mean it. Today I want to discuss disabling your SSH root login for improving the security on your Linux machines. And when I say you should disable the SSH root login, I'm talking if you have SSH installed on your desktops, on your laptops, and especially on your Linux servers, disable the ability to SSH into that machine as the root user. Why? It's because most people that are trying to attack that machine, trying to get in through SSH, they are usually trying to log in as the root user. So just disable root login for SSH on all your Linux boxes. So let me show you how to do this. So I'll just run through it really quick here on my main production machine. The first thing you need to do, especially if you're doing this on a server, like a web server, make sure you have a normal user already on that web server before you start disabling the ability to SSH in as root. Because if root's the only user on the system, you could be in a little bit of trouble. So Add a normal user. Now, uh, normally I can't tell you exactly what you need to do to add a user to the system because depending on the distro you're running, it could be different commands. But like here in Arch, you know, typically I do something like sudo and then user mod space dash lowercase a capital G and then the groups. So something like group one comma group to no spaces and however many groups I want to add this user and then the username and that would create a user here on Arch. I think Ubuntu uses the add user command. I think some other uh, distros have a user add command. Again, just check with your distributions documentation on how to add a user to the system, but add a normal user. Once you've made sure that you have a normal user on the system, then we need to actually switch over to root for this next part. So I'm just going to SU. Or you could just use your normal user that you created, but you're just going to have to sudo all these commands. But it's easier just to SU to switch over to the root user. If I did a quick who am I, you can see that we are now root. And then run the command vim or nano if you prefer nano. Uh, by the way, uh, on a web server, sometimes you may not find vim or nano on those things. You may just have to do plain vi, but whatever text editor you're comfortable with, vim. And we're going to edit this file, slash etsy, slash ssh, slash sshd underscore config. Hit enter. And then what you want to do is you want to page down... Uh, one time is all it takes you know, for the default SSHD config. And you see this line here that says permit root login and it's set to yes by default. Now we want to change that of course to no. So if you happen to end up in VI or Vim and you're not familiar with how they work, if you hit W on the keyboard, you go forward one word. So just hit W and you're on the yes word. Now hit CW for change word and yes goes away. Now type no. No. Hit escape on the keyboard. Now one other thing you might want to do is sometimes it's a good idea to just go ahead and specify exactly which users are allowed to SSH into this thing. And if you wanted to you could hit O on the keyboard and that gets you back into insert mode. It creates a new line and then type allow users and space and then the users you want to add. So you user one, user two, etc. So in my case, if the only user I wanted to allow to SSH into this machine is a DT user, I could just say allow users DT and then escape. And then if you're in VI or Vim, you need to colon WQ for write and quit. Of course, these changes will not take effect until you stop and start the SSHD service. So if you're running a normal Linux distribution that uses systemd, <laughs> Uh, the command you want to do as root is, of course, system CTL restart SSHD and hit enter and we're done. And of course, if you want to test out the changes you just made, just to make sure those changes were applied, just try to SSH into that machine as root. It should be disabled and then try to SSH into that machine as a user that you specified in the allow users line. So again, this was just a very quick video on a really simple tip that can really improve the security on your Linux machines, desktops, laptops, servers. It's a way to harden, you know, your machine just a little bit and it's not very complicated to do at all. Now, before I go, 
And this show was made possible by Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Michael, Mitchell, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they're the producers of the show. My highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode wouldn't be possible. You see all those other names on the screen as well. I want to thank each and every one of those guys. Again, without those guys, the channel wouldn't be possible. If you'd like to support the channel, you'll find me over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.